April being Child Abuse Awareness Month, Governor Children's is once again shedding a light on the problem here in Lubbock, which also includes medical child abuse and more cases involving sex trafficking. Here's Kelby Case Eddie Catano. Casey Thompson with Covenant Children says the meaning behind the hospital's blue ribbon event started in 1989 with Bonnie Finney, who saw the effects of abuse with her grandchildren. Every time she saw a blue ribbon, she thought about all the bruises and all the injuries that her um, grandchild had um, endured. And so she did that in remembrance of her grandchild. So we tie our ribbons for the same reasons, to remember all those kids that we've cared for that have been victims of abuse and neglect here locally and regionally. In 2023, Lubbock County saw 735 reported cases of child abuse and more than 2,000 cases in the entire Plains region. We're in the top five probably for abuse and neglect cases. 735 blue ribbons tied at the main entrance of Covenant's Children Hospital, each representing a victim of abuse, along with five white kites, and Thompson says that their significance is a lot bigger. So last year we did start flying kites for those who had lost their lives. And um, this year, unfortunately, we have five um, that does represent the Lubbock region. Covenant Children's Chaplain Reverend Judy Brandt says it's not an easy thing to talk about, but being aware of what's happening is very important. We have to be more bold in doing that. And yes, um, sometimes these family secrets are kept in the dark and people can't get the help that they need. And we realize years later, the familial trauma and the childhood injuries that their hearts and their bodies and their souls have received. And Brent says, if a child tells you they're being abused, you need to believe them. Because these children oftentimes don't have a voice in the system and they cry out to the ones that they feel like they can trust.